Welcome to NBA Nation. I'm Luke Brown here with Brody and Donovan, and today we are breaking down the latest ahead of the NBA draft on Thursday, and the latest is coming really late. It was the Celtics acquiring Chris Stapps Porzingis. You're our Boston Celtics guy. I mean, you got to be excited, right? I'm excited, but I don't like giving away Malcolm Brogdon. Uh, he won six man of the year and was becoming a quality starter at the end of the year. And I really think this core of guys were the guys that were going to take Boston to the championship and just shipping them off and getting new players in there. I'm not the biggest fan of, but I mean, he's a great player and he'll be great for Boston, I'm sure. Kristaps Porzingis was booed when he got drafted by the New York Knicks back uh, quite a few years ago. Now he's back in the Eastern Conference. I mean, it's really going to shift things this coming year, correct? Yeah, I think so. He's he's back. We're in the same division that he was drafted in, but now for the Boston Celtics, and I think it's a good move for them. They don't have a uh, design center. You know, they kept going between Robert Williams and subbing him out and rotating different guys in there, so hopefully they have a defined starter now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what a huge deal by Chris Depps Porzingis. What does it do for the other side? I mean, obviously you got to give things up. Malcolm Brogdon, you mentioned. So I'll go back to you, Donovan. I mean, losing Malcolm Brogdon, how big of an impact is that going to make on this Boston team? You know, I think the Celtics still have good pieces. They can still contend without Brogdon. Maybe he was one of their better shooters, but I think they'll be fine. And as for the Clippers who got Malcolm Brogdon, I love the roster. Um, he, he'll probably start there, uh, move Paul George down to the three, and I really think the Clippers can contend in the West now. As we mentioned, Thursday, the NBA draft, and Victor Wembenyama could possibly, def most definitely, going to be the number one pick. I mean, it's almost a given, but what does this trade sort of do for this NBA draft coming up on Thursday? I mean, it gives a few teams pieces like that may, they might have wanted to draft and uh, solidified some rosters, you know, and made some more positions of needs for certain teams. And I think it's not the biggest uh, news-breaking move, but, I mean, it just solidifies some teams going into the season. Donovan, your thoughts on how this trade impacts the NBA draft coming up on Thursday? Um, I think we see the Celtics and the Clippers probably go different directions than what they were originally looking at. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're going to head to a wrap to our commercial break. Coming right up, we're back on NBA Nation here on ESPN.